Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Today I'm going to be working on this Katoni Aster. I, it's this and one other nursery stock tree that's still in the pot that I, uh, that I purchased it in. And it's been in there for way too long. I'm going to be doing this one and the other one is my Hinoki Cypress. So with this Katoni Aster, I did a very rough pruning at first. I cut off some really ridiculously long things just so I could see the basic structure. And I said to myself, when spring comes around, I'll take this out of the pot and I'll look at the roots and determine what the front of this tree might be. I have my thoughts. I also have my thoughts on branches that I just want to remove right away. Uh, but I see a lot of back budding, a lot of little nascent branches coming out, and I want to see what happens uh, to this tree down lower. So I'm going to work it back slowly. Let's get it out of the pot and take a look. So I'm thinking about this pot for this tree. It's a rectangular pot. From the angle I'm looking at this tree right now, it has a rectangular feel. Um, and I'll probably be planting it central in this pot. So putting that aside, removing the tree from the pot. This is a first, that was easy. That just tells me, ooh, yeah. I don't know what I'm about to uh, uncover. So let's dig, shall we? All right, you got a good view of this? All right, Let's start at the edges, work in a radial pattern. You'll hear this repeated again and again, and there's good reason. You want to uncover these roots slowly <laughs> because you don't know what you're going to get. And if you attack them, rip through them, you could damage something that might otherwise be pretty spectacular. Okay, so something big hit here, and that's quite a large root, a well-developed root. Have to see where that originated from. Take your time. You know, I hope you've got a lot of time. Meaning, I hope I'm speaking to younger people, because if I have one, one regret is that I didn't get serious with this hobby, and, and I couldn't. And I'm sure a lot of people are facing the same situation. When I go to my club meetings, and we're all of a certain age, and I'm thinking, all right, who's carrying the torch? So I hope I'm getting to a lot of young people out there because that's, a, that's, that's an important message. All right, I'm gonna switch to something faster. trying to come up with a strategy here. I got some great comments on my repotting video from last night. Thank you so much for that. Um, and based on some of those comments, I went and found the saw that I thought I could call expendable and uh, donate it permanently to, uh, to this cause. And here we have it. So I'm still going to be a little trepidatious here. I'm going a third of the way up. Yeah, about a third of the way up. do it in a way that I can do it and you can see it. Uh, 
and I'm encountering nothing hard. Okay, this is the way to go. Thank you, viewers. And I've seen it a hundred times. I just was never willing to give up a saw. <laughs> Oh, there's something. Okay. That brings me to my next point very succinctly. And that is the roots that have gone to the edge of the pot and are encircling. They are certainly keeping me... I didn't do a very straight job, did I? I'll fix that. All right. So those roots, I think... I'm gonna make four cuts along the side, maybe more. I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna cut wholesale because these are root ends. So the good stuff is behind them. This is another tree that I saw and didn't buy. There was nothing like it around. You know, I didn't even see any other Cotone Asters. That's what I had come for. And this was just sitting there, but I left. I said to myself, oh, there's gotta be something wrong with it. It's the only tree left. The only thing wrong with it at that moment was the fact that I didn't I didn't go for it. This is no easier. What do I do? Okay. I'm going to start trying to unwind these. Since I made those cuts, they're only going to be so long, so I'm not going to be struggling all that much doing this. But that's what's holding me up. Okay. Really glad I had a pair of these that I'm not worried about losing or dulling. They sure come in handy. soil's nice and moist. I'm not seeing any crazy critters in there. So let's let's attack this like we mean it. This is a nice soil that it's in, but there's like absolutely no aggregate. Well, a couple of rocks just fell out. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to sufficiently loosen up another tranche of soil, and then I'll go in and rake it out. get something that I could classify as a nice root base. That is still up in the air at the moment. And I'm starting to see where I can adequately or, or properly cut back to. It's like archaeology. Trying to figure out what happened. This tree's been around for a while. All right. I 
I'm going to try and expose a little bit more trunk. I'm going to try not to damage the trunk while I'm doing this. Because at this point, I can't keep going up from the bottom without knowing where the top is. I'm starting to see some thicker, nice, possible surface roots, future surface roots. Might be wishful thinking, but why not? Why not hope for a really nice outcome and then let the ends justify the means? Okay. I think we can safely go back into fast mode now. All right, I've had this outside and I've been washing it and I think there's a good root base down there. So before I start hacking this, <clears throat> which I know I don't need, maybe I should hack this middle out. Yeah, I'll hold it. I'm going to take it around and just cut the, cut the roots that are a little too high. Just pull them out and keep going until I think I need to stop. That's a better place to do this from. And this is rough. If I, if I encounter a larger root that I want to take out, I'll be using a different tool. This is sticking up. Might as well try to find its origin. Or well, we'll just go in and take whatever else is around it. As long as I'm sure I got it. Got something. There we go. This one goes back around the tree. And so do a lot of them. So I've already picked up about a half inch on one side, maybe three quarters on the other of this tree. Just with knocking off, you know, the soil up there. This one's higher than the root base I envision. So I'm going to cut it off as close as I can at the moment. And my aim is to get down to something that really resembles a nice root base. All right, I'm approaching the side of the tree that's questionable right now. There's a very old root that looks like it has fused in. I'm not going to mess with that just yet, unless I can release it in a believable way because that would be above soil line and I don't know if I want that. 
there is a smaller one there that I probably can get out. Yeah, all right, I got that smaller one out. Let's see if I can get a close-up of that for you. This root appears to emanate from the left side there, and then it comes up along the tree. and goes down into the soil. If I want my root plane to be down here, then that is definitely something I have to deal with. Or not. It could be a feature. Although I'm not sure I like it. So I'm going to just pick away at it a little bit here. Maybe I'll do it outside in, in the bucket. I'll be right back. All right. So yes, this is where it emanates from. And it goes along the trunk of the tree. And I would like to be below this. So I'm taking it off and I'm gonna start on the far end and work my way back. So come what may, whatever comes with this is no longer part of the tree. Not much. Okay. Interesting. I can still go further. I'm going to try and get a little bit more of this. I'm definitely going to get more of this. Okay. I got it all. And picked up quite a bit more trunk on this tree. Exciting. Okay. Keep going and try to try to know when to stop. All right. Do I like that planting angle? Because it wants to lean if I leave the roots the way they are. Does that do anything for me? Well, I do like this because I was worried about this little pinch point here, which from this view and this view now, well, doesn't look so bad, but there is definitely a pinch point here and a, and a dimple on this side. So I'm happy with this progress. Yeah, I've, I've got to get in deeper right here. Right now, I'm encountering a heavy part of, of a root that I think has to go because it goes up. But I want to see just what's around it. So I have to go wash one more time. Maybe not one more time, maybe many more times. All right, I'm starting to see where I need to be 
up here. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break there and head underneath and just kind of clear out this, uh, this clutter in the middle. And to do that, I will be using my old Corona. Luca is under this cart as opposed to on his bed, his uh, makeshift bed in here. Now I'm going to start concentrating on how this tree sits while I'm exposing more and more of its underbelly. Okay, that's enough for now. But I'm going to wash that out. Forgive me, I shall return. Okay, now I can see what's going on a little better down here. Way more I can cut back. And now I'm going to start working down again. And I will find, I will find a root base. This is a, this is a, a, a problem little knuckle right here. So I'm wondering if it has anything to do with this. It seems to. Nah. But this root, is too much, so I'm gonna take it off short. I can go even shorter. Did I get through? Okay. Yeah, the more I expose of that knuckle, Unless I know what to do with it. Might just leave it there. Certainly seen trees with uh, protruding knuckles before. Some trees are prized for their knuckles. This one is though. Interesting, interesting. I might like that. I might even like that as a front. Let's continue the roots. This one, way too fat. I'm going to get it right from its point of origin. Some other roots that are inconsequential. Looking for the next large victim. Maybe this one. This one. This one.
and this one. I'd like to get this one at its source. Close. Okay, working around. Roots are just falling away. Okay, I wanted to expose more of that knuckle and I did. Let's see if I can make it pretty. Doubt it, but I'll do my best. keeps escaping. Yeah. These are nice strong roots. Just before I started working on this today, I was watching a premiere from Nigel Saunders. And in the comments, well, I said I had a, a Catoni Aster on the block today, and his comments were, you can really go hard on the roots. They're very, very hardy in that regard. Okay, this one goes up, and it's kind of big. Does it come off of that knuckle? I don't think it does. I think it's its own little thing. I'm going to lose my train of thought, so I apologize in advance. Here's another big one that can come off at its source. Yeah, it's got a lot with it, though. Maybe I'll just take the offending piece off. A lot offends me about it, but I can shorten it. It'll be out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna give it a dunk just to uh, hydrate it. On close inspection, there are two knuckles, so I'm going to whittle down between them and see if they can be a feature. I don't see why not. There is another knuckle down there that could be below the soil line. Yeah, I can take that whole thing off, and I will. Interesting now, very interesting. My thought for this tree is a, an old orchard tree. So I'm keeping that in mind. What else is growing funny? This. 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 That whole piece right there. And that. All right, I'm going to give it a final dip, and then we're going to plant this baby up. 